what it tell us what you do what is your what is your job what is your yeah. location at o'keefe that's a great question um i mean i have a technical role which is you know running a sports marketing agency uh and what that encompasses is a lot i mean we own events obviously waterpalooza west coast classic granite games um madrid <clears throat> uh we manage athletes you know you know which I don't look at it that way, but we'll get further into that. I mean, we help people with their professional life on the endorsement side, basically, of their professional life as an athlete. And um, we do marketing work for brands. So, you know, we represent brands and their marketing efforts, either digitally or physical, uh, from an activation perspective. And when you say you manage athletes, is it strictly in the CrossFit space? It is, yeah. I've been like... You know, I've had an opportunity outside, um, and we've done some unique work. You know, for instance, we we work with a climber, Corey Richards. I, you may even know Corey. Um, and then, well, uh, now I'm gonna immediately when this is over, I'm gonna reach out to the producer of the show and get him on the podcast. He is Put his name down. He is. Uh, he, <laughs> is uh, he is awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. In and he's uh, he's got a great story and. But um, we've worked, with, yeah. I mean, but yeah, specifically right now, it's just CrossFitters. And it's funny, like, I think in that role, um, a lot of people, you know, look at this, you know, as an, as an evolution opportunity in other sports. I don't. I, it's, it's, it's taught me to want to run deeper in this. Um, it's such a cool space. I love the people and I love the uh, opportunity that continues to rise in it. And um, it's, you know, there's two sides to, you know, being an agent. There's that contractual side and traditional sports and the marketing side. And I love the marketing side. I have no interest in negotiating an NBA or an NFL or NHL contract. That's for others. I, I really love the marketing side. That's what we do. So I think we would always maybe like look at or I would look at opportunity with anyone with that. But today it's it's all CrossFitters and I love it. What it, what does that mean? What's marketing? What's what's the definition of marketing? <clears throat> Anything like you could say from like you know being um, looking at appearance opportunities, spe you know being um, you know giving a you know addressing you know a, a business or a crowd to endorsement um, to you know your own brand you know so anything it's just you know how they operate their business unit non contractual so non sport related well sport related but non you know, in CrossFit, it would be they compete on a floor for a prize. On the other side is the business and marketing. Um, you know, we do uniquely help them all the best we can from like, you know, having a having a support system in their weekend. But um, uh, that's you, what you happened know, to you, you earlier, that, Brian. with Matt. That was kind of my, you know, you broke up for role. a second. You broke up for just a second. What about Matt? If you're going to drop Matt's name, we got to get the whole sentence. You broke up for <laughs> a second. I said, I said that, you know, like sort of my role with Matt was extended, right? Like I was, you know, um, but, you know, so we do do more than just, you know, that business side. We try to support athletes and, you know, having um, a support system in the games week or whatever. But, yeah, it's purely a business scenario where we're trying to, you know, help them develop their brands and find the right fits for them, uh, either with partners or on their own. What, so someone DMs your athlete. Sorry, Brian. Someone DMs your athlete and says, "Hey, um, we have a comb. We want you to, um, you know, sell or put on your Instagram." And someone and and you do represent Matt, right? Just to be clear, I do. Yeah. And and then Matt would just take a screenshot of that and send it to you, and you'd reach out to them, and you'd be like, "Hey, why did you?" And then you would start negotiating. Then why do you think this your comb works well with Matt? He doesn't even comb his hair, and then they explain. <laughs> and you guys talk it out. That's a good example too, right? Because well, first of all, some of them we have access to their DMs, um, and and we're linked to their email uh, on like a message click on their social, so we will we would directly receive it. Um, but yeah, like that's a good example because I think one of the things that's been really cool about the CrossFit space on that side and has evolved in a great way is like you know getting away from like the have to take deals with companies to make to like being able to be selective with brands that you believe in so yeah and it's like you know that whole process is is the fun part you know it's like does this fit you know and you know guys like matt being able to be like very selective about who they work with and who they you know want to now invest in too right like there's even that going on so it's super fun but yeah that's exactly how it would go 
So you've seen the dick pics I've sent Matt? You're, you yeah. have access to his DM? You must be impressed. <laughs> no, uh, wonder, no wonder you came on the show. I set myself up for that. I knew that was coming. I was like, wait, here we go. Here comes the question about what happens in these DMs. So <laughs> I would say that, you know, it's uh, it's appalling what happens in some of these DMs. So God, I yeah. wish something appalling would happen in my DMs. <laughs> God, damn it. Uh, um, yeah. So... Um, how old are you? That's a really personal question. You don't have um, to answer. I, no, 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 I'm, jo- I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm oh. 44. I'm 44. And so at 34 is the year I found CrossFit. Um, Me, and me at too. 30, wow, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. No, 